The 2017 Houston Astros are back in the spotlight again, thanks to Evan Gaddis. Let's get into it. Evan Gaddis took to Twitter to answer some fan questions and added some more fuel to the fire the baseball world has for the 2017 Astros. He even admitted to using performance-enhancing drugs during the 2015 season, which was his first season with the Astros. For full context, Gaddis tweeted, Happy Easter to all you idiots, to which a fan responded basically thanking him and letting him know it was great to watch him play in 2015. This is where things get a little bizarre. With no provocation, Gaddis responds that he guaranteed he was scared playing left field, but more importantly, that he was on performance-enhancing drugs at least both of those times. Now, let's not get wild. This could mean anything. Some rumors going around are that Gaddis was on Adderall, which is considered a stimulant after the 2005 season. Typically used to treat ADHD, but nonetheless, it is on MLB's banned substance list. However, exemptions can be made. First, the player needs to be diagnosed by an MLB certified clinician. Then, a player can gain exemption if a panel of three experts approve it. Now, to be clear, Gaddis did confirm in a tweet that it was indeed Adderall for when he played left field after a fan called him out for admitting to PEDs. Famously, the Orioles' Chris Davis was one of those exemptions. According to the Baltimore Sun, 112 exemptions were issued to players in 2014 with an industry source saying that 11 were new applicants and 101 were renewals. Gaddis could have easily been one of those people. Now let's get back to Trash Can Gate because we are definitely not sick of talking about that. Another fan asked Gaddis if he knew the pitch was coming when he hit a home run in Game 7 of the 2017 ALCS off CC Sabathia to which he responded yes to one fan. A separate fan asked how many trash can bangs did he hear in that 2017 postseason, to which Gaddis responded it depended on the pitch. We now know thanks to John Boy's breakdown of that situation that the Astros were only banging on the trash can for certain pitches, but this solidifies it even further with Gaddis admitting to how it worked as well. Lastly, a fan asked if that specific home run off CC was a trash can bang home run, to which Gaddis responded with, yes, I'm pretty sure, backdoor cutter slider. Now, here is a video of that home run. You gotta say, his memory's pretty clear. It was indeed a backdoor slider. Now, I couldn't hear a bang in the replay, but he said that he knew it was coming and it clearly paid off. It broke a scoreless game and the Astros went on to win that game for nothing. Next, a fan asked how many other teams had systems, to which Gaddis responded the good teams that year, which is like four. So I think we could possibly be looking at the Astros, Dodgers, Yankees, Indians, and Red Sox that year. This fan wanted to know a bit more as to how the whole trash can thing started, to which Gaddis said that he was a proponent of the idea at the time, but it definitely rubbed people. He goes on to say that the situation was more powerful than any individual, like the Milgram experiment in Stanford. For those of you who don't know, the Milgram experiment was a psychological study exploring the willingness of individuals to follow the orders of authorities when those orders conflict with the individual's own moral judgment. We then get into his thoughts on Mike Fires blowing the lid on the cheating, which he said he thinks at first he was warning younger, more naive players to be cautious about signs and stuff, and it got blown out of proportion. The media is good at prying. Now we get into the good stuff, the World Series of that year. Dodgers fans are understandably big mad about it, but Gaddis says to them, don't get it twisted, I'm pretty sure the Dodgers had a system as well. A fan then asked if trash cans were used in the 2017 World Series. Gaddis said he thinks that they knew and used multiple signs even with nobody on base, but it's been a while. I remember knowing what was coming against Kershaw. As a team, we swung and missed a handful of times only against him. Lastly, a fan asked to know more about the buzzers. There has been a lot of speculation as to whether that was a thing or not, to which Gaddis responded with saying he doesn't know if there was any truth to the buzzers. And if there was, Altuve wouldn't want it anyway because he's a reactionary hitter. Maybe Altuve was really telling the truth about his wife being mad about him being shy about his shirt being ripped off. This whole time, he was telling the truth. But ultimately, he said he has no idea and that it used to be possible as well as admitting he researched it. However, if they were using them, they were smart enough not to tell him. Truly a bizarre exchange on Twitter. Some stuff we already knew, some more clarity on specifics, and some things nobody asked for. But hey, we're here. What are your thoughts? Sound off in the comments. Hit that subscribe and like button. Catch you in the next video. Later.